Dobro veče. Dobro veče, Divine Pisces 2.22. It is Friday, June 25th, 2021. I'm going to do an energy check-in for Twin Flames today, soulmates, uh, connections, inner union, however you want to resonate with this reading. Let's start with the two. Dobro veche, Divine Pisces, 222. It is Friday, June 25th, 2021. I'm going to do an energy check-in for uh, for you guys today. Uh, inner Union, Soulmate, Twin Flame, um, however you resonate. Um, very, I'll tell you what, guys, like, I feel very at peace this week. Like, I've just kind of have this feeling of just everything's going to be fine, you know? Um, especially, which is nice, it's refreshing, especially after the last couple of weeks of just like feeling like we're losing something, like we, you know, like all of this sorrow energy, all of this negative energy kind of coming in. It's nice and it's kind of refreshing to have this energy of, okay, you know, um, I'm in my receiving energy, I'm ready for good things, bring me good things, I'm ready for those things. Um, I've cleared away the the cobwebs, so to speak, I've cleared away, I cleared um, the space, so to speak, um, for my new beginning. And that's really where I feel like the collective is. It's really a state of surrender right now. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at overall energies here. Yeah, so guidance coming in here. And this this is significant, especially with what I'm feeling right now. It's like, it's like we're at this, this uh, point where we're ready to be guided home, right? We're ready to be guided home. Uh, we now have the courage to stand up for what we know we need to do and the courage to see this through and to, it's like we're ready for the next step, you know, and, and for some of us, yes, this does include like, you know, coming back together with our counterparts um, or even just that feeling good. Now, pleasure, obviously, you know, there's a lot of sexual en uh, energy coming in here, but it's creativity, but also just feeling good feeling good about yourself, taking pleasure in everyday life, staying present in the moment, right? Which helps you kind of take those next steps. And it's it's literally like we're, and the fact that guidance is the first one up here, it's like, okay, we're ready. Let's go, Source. Show me my next step. Guide me home, right? I now, I have the courage to see this through Show me my next step, right? Um, and that's good, that's really good. So let's take a look at feminine real quick, see what's going on. Yeah, feminine in the growth energy, in the abundance energy. And I feel this is really good because especially where feminine was for the last, especially for the last couple of months, I would say feminine just like feeling not connected. Um, uh, well, well, I mean, that makes a lot of sense with the, the crown chakras opening up and everything, but it's like this uh, not feeling connected at all to, uh, or not wanting, uh, hey, let's rephrase, not wanting to be connected to the 3D at all, not wanting to deal with people, not wanting to deal with 3D situations, not wanting to deal with drama, not wanting to deal with any of it, just saying, you know what, screw this. I don't want to deal with any of it. And that includes Divine Masculine. You know, you keep bringing me your baggage. You keep bringing me your drama. I don't want to deal with that anymore. I don't want to deal with that anymore, right? So I feel like Feminine's really going through a growth opportunity right now, um, standing in her power, rooting herself in her world and her reality and, and moving forward in truth. Right, but also surrendering to source saying, okay, yes, I'm ready. I understand. I'm taking this opportunity. I am growing from this opportunity. I am so grateful. And I'm getting like true chills as I say that. I am so grateful that you have shown me what I need to release in order to move forward. And I feel pure. I feel uncluttered. I feel ready again for that new beginning, guys. And and this is just such a feel good. I really do. I feel this is such a feel good moment for feminine right now. Feminine feeling comfortable in her own skin, feeling like she can take on the world, that she has the courage, she has the fortitude 
to navigate her next step, right? And to deal with the unexpected. And for some of you, this has to do again with your counterpart or with your connection, you know, the twins here. It's like, again, you were thrown for a loop. You were in this expectation mode about what these connections meant, but now you're at a point where you're like, you, you're like, no, 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 no. I am, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. And for some of you, this is a new opportunity that you're walking into and you're like, you know what, I'm not gonna go into this opportunity with all of these 3D expectations, with putting, projecting, you know, things onto them, negativity, whatever it is that you're projecting on the situation. You're staying present in the moment and you're dealing with the moment, okay? And that's what it means, not placing expectations. I, I'm not saying you, you, can't, um, you can't have hope or you can't have, you know, a good feeling about where you are. Some people, for some reason, equate that with expectation. That's not, that's not it at all. Expectation is literally you projecting onto the situation something other than it is, okay? So for example, let's say you meet somebody new, okay? Let's talk about that for a second. Let's say you meet somebody new. I know a lot of people are right now, um, and these this, this particular person that's coming in maybe feels the same or has an energetic similarity to who you originally thought was your counterpart, okay? And this is where your new beginning's kind of coming in, right? And you're looking at it in a completely different way than you were. It's like you're, you're going, okay, I'm being represented with this same scenario, right? And you're like, okay, I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. I'm not gonna place expectations on this person. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna project my anger or my fear about my twin on this person, right? That, that's what I mean by placing expectations, okay? Um, and I do feel a lot of feminines, yeah, a lot of feminines are taking action right now because they're ready to. And for, again, some of you, this has to do with a new person coming in. But overall, just in general, I feel it's a new opportunity for feminine to seek her abundance, to, to move forward in self-love and to grow. So really great energies coming in for feminine right now. Um... And I know I talked on uh, Sunday about staying present and stuff like that in the moment and what that means. Find something that helps you ground, um, whether it's working out, whether it's going for a walk, whether it's even cooking or whatever it is that makes you feel happy in the moment. Helps you to connect to the moment and to your true self. Like it's like you, like self-expression. Like for some people it's singing, some people it's drawing. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is that makes you feel good in your own skin, you should do that. That helps you connect to the moment and stay present in the moment, okay? All right, let's dig in a little bit. Yeah, look at that. First card out, Nine of Pentacles. See, yeah, Feminine, I do feel you are so close. You are so close to achieving the idea of abundance and what that actually means. And it's like you're just building it day by day, little by little. And you're really starting to see the change externally as you change the internal, okay? And feminine has been going through a major internal shift, guys. Major internal shift. Just, yes. Like, I am I don't want to deal with the drama anymore. Like, I, I want to, I just want to do my own thing, right? Yeah, trying not to get too caught up um, in the emotional aspects of everything, right? Um, and trying not to bring emotion in where it doesn't belong. Um, I do feel for a little while feminine was probably very sensitive. Um, and I, I mean that, you know, I really mean like, it's like every little thing was triggering feminine for a while. That's why I do feel feminine really had that need to kind of disconnect from everything that was going on around her because it was just too much. It was just too much going on. Um... But right now, I feel like feminine is really bringing herself into balance when it comes to her emotions. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, and also not, not being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some of you, it's like you have this overwhelming feeling that you need to tell the truth, but then it comes out as emotional. Um, and it, it's like the, the point wasn't coming across, but now it's just kind of like, you know, I'm just going to pick my battles here. Um, 
I'm not going to let the illusion that I'm, some of you, you probably have this idea that you were crazy or something like that. People were telling you that you were crazy, um, but you knew that you weren't. And you're like, you know what? I'm not going to let other people's words dictate what I do. Okay. I, I know what I am about. I know what this connection is about. I know how I'm feeling. I understand how this works now. Okay. Now for some of you, yes, this has to do with your counterpart. Your counterpart, um, either you release that counterpart or, or some sort of significant change has happened within the connection. It's like it's bringing you back together. And for some of you, yeah, your, your counterpart has come back. But for others, you, you have met somebody new and it's a new connection. Okay. And it's giving you that same kind of fuzzy feeling. Um, but for some of you, it is triggering you too. It is triggering you a little bit. Some of you, it's triggering you into, uh, <laughs> look at this. Okay. So, you know, at the, uh, the beginning we had Kurt, we had guidance, we had home and courage. Okay. We see that there's a little home back here. All right. Beyond all of this rock. And there she is, you know, holding all of the wands, trying to get over the rocks to home. For some of you, it's like this basically is the reward for you doing the hard work and, and, and you know, doing whatever it is you needed to do, whether this is your person or, or a new connection, or maybe it is actually your, your person in a different form, or it's a new opportunity. Okay, it's like your hard work is being rewarded right now. For some of you, what's happening now is triggering that. It's like you're like, oh my gosh, all of this work that I did paid off right? It paid off, right? I'm, I'm in a good place to deal with my stuff right now. I'm in a good place to deal with my stuff. But now some of you, some of you, this is actually telling me some of you are in a lot of confusion about what's happening in your connection right now. You're being triggered with confusion. And some of you, it's, oh gosh, I did all of this work. Am I being tested again or am I being rewarded? Some of you are just overthinking this. Some of you have met somebody new, but for some reason you're still not you're still not releasing your person. Okay? Some of you still feel very defeated by these connections. Um Yeah, some of you feel very defeated by some of these connections. It's like you just But at the same time, again, I'm getting, I'm getting like mixed messages. I feel like I'm connecting to two different types of feminines right now because there's another group that's coming in where it's, they're just, it's literally like they're looking back on their connection. Like they're just looking back on their connection and realizing where they are now and realizing that they have been giving up their power all along in these connections, right? And it's the connection that have been keeping them stuck, have been keeping them from, you know, being their true selves and keeping them in this emotional, like, state, right? Keeping them from actually moving forward in their journey and achieving their abundance and, and what it is they, they, they are called to do, okay? Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, I mean, it's like some of you are mourning the end of this karmic cycle, whatever this is. At the same time, you're embracing your new beginning. So I mean, understandably so, understandably so, you know, if you think about, you know, a situation that you're really, really comfortable in, you were, you were, you thought you were happy in, or you just were used to, okay, it's the only thing you knew and now it's gone. You know, of course, it's natural to feel some sort of loss, but you have to understand that it had no integrity, it had no... The foundation itself was not solid. Okay? It, it wasn't. It was false. Okay? It wasn't it wasn't true. Okay? So um feminine and a little bit of conflicting energy, but overall I do feel it's a good energy for feminine. I do feel feminine is um kind of at the end of her mourning or purging period, as it were, for this particular situation, whatever it is for you. Um, and I, I really do feel good things on the horizon for feminine. I mean, there there is the split that we're dealing with, but for 
The feminines who are stepping into the light, who are moving onto their path, I feel only good things coming for you. And it's like, you're going to start seeing everything else just fall away. And then the only thing that's going to be open to you is your path. And that's what you're going to be seeing as you continue. Okay. So messages to masculine from feminine. I wish things could be different. I want to feel that way again. So yeah, some feminines, you are mourning the loss of your connection. Loss of your connection. Okay. And we will be together again. Some of you did walk away. I look for you everywhere. I know I messed up everything. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Don't think that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some of you feminines, you walked away from your connection. Finally. Okay. We need to let each other go. Yep. And I am becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So messages for feminine from source. Whatever you choose will be correct. So again, listen to yourself, feminine. You're moving forward. Everything's fine. You do have the courage. You're being guided towards your next step. So just move. Just move. Okay. Uh, source is showing you where you need to go. If you need help, ask. Commune. Communicate. Embrace oneness with the universe. Embrace Embrace your inner union. Embrace your union with self and with source. The magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. So just literally let it go, feminine. Just let it go and just move forward, okay? Perfect acceptance, exactly. Accept where you are now so that you can accept your new beginning. Okay, acceptance is key. All right, so let's take a look at masculine. See what's going on with masculine right now. Okay. Ooh. Oh, well, masculine in a bit of despair. Now, again, some of you walked away from your connection. So masculine is in a little bit of despair about this connection. Some of you either walked away, you rejected him, or you, you told him, hey, no more of your crap. Or you cut him off, like, energetically, possibly, yeah. So it's like you just ended this. So again, masculine, in despair, over the ending, ending of this connection. So yeah. So this particular group are, or groups of feminine that I'm picking up on and masculine that I'm picking up on, the connections, feminine walked away. Feminine walked away. Feminine said enough. Feminine said enough. Yeah. So look at that. Boom. Feminine said no more. No more. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. And this is where feminine was last week too, where it was like, you know, stop bringing me your baggage. I have enough stuff to deal with. I don't want to deal with yours. Yeah. Some of them are feeling incredibly trapped right now. Some of them feminine, like they perceived feminine as they're out from whatever situation they were in, but feminine was tired of, of being like the afterthought or a means to an end or, um, you know, some of you, I get this like image that seriously like your your masculine has a lot of stuff that they were dealing with and instead of dealing with their stuff they would come to feminine or they would come to you just as an outlet but they would never ever actually deal with their stuff and feminine had enough feminine said no more no more so this is a very depressed <laughs> group of masculines that i'm picking up on here guys Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Masculine, you got some hard truths, didn't you? You got some hard truths. Mm hmm. Goodness gracious. Yeah. You got some real hard truths. And uh, I do feel that feminine definitely enlightened you about your burdens definitely triggered you and some 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 masculines right now they are feeling incredibly overwhelmed. Um, they don't have an outlet anymore. Um, the situation that they are in, in the 3D, uh, is is weighing them down. It's weighing them down, okay? And now it's like they don't have feminine to go to anymore. So now they're like, what do I do? What do I do? 
right? And they know this. Uh, some of them, this is a this is a person, okay? But whatever this three D situation is, it's not fulfilling them at all. Same story seems. Poor masculine. Poor masculine. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of regret energy coming in. Some of them, it's like they regret that feminine left, but it's like they refuse to see the fact that maybe feminine was trying to protect herself. It's like, my feminine's so mean. You know, why won't she let me use her energy? Why won't she let me use her energy in my karmic situation? Why? Why? You know? Um, and that's, that's because feminine, masculine, I'm sorry. And I'm going to turn this right side up so you guys can see in this particular temperance, um, interpretation, you notice how one cup is pulling, pouring all the way into another and it's overflowing. This is feminine, masculine, pouring into your cup over and over and over and over again. And you never did anything for yourself. She's not doing that anymore. Mm -mm. You're going to have to deal with your own stuff. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to you're going to have to deal with your own stuff. Okay? So that's enough of sitting in this I don't know what to do, man. You know, you got to you got to pick up, you got to pick it up, you got to move forward, okay? So yeah, masculine very very triggered right now, feeling very abandoned. Okay? Yeah, I really yeah. It's <laughs> like uh in their fifis big time and uh, this is the six of pentacles it actually came out on its side so it's really kind of in transition so feminine had the six of pentacles in reverse and masculine has the six of pentacles uh in in transition so it's like um oh, i'm sorry huh wow nine of pentacles i'm sorry nine of pentacles feminine had nine of pentacles in the upright masculine has nine of pentacles in transition so what that tells me is masculine, he is not. He's, he's, he's in transition, realizing again that the 3D situation is not the end all, be all. And with feminine literally releasing him or uh, walking away or whatever happened here, it has thrown that stability out of whack. Yeah. It's really highlighted the codependency that he had on feminine to begin with. He had a lot of codependency on feminine. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like masculine became the karmic. <laughs> okay. But some of them, they're still clinging so hard. They're clinging so hard to these illusions, to the 3D stuff. It's like... Feminine, why can't you see? Why can't you see? I can't release any of this stuff, but I still want to be with you. I want to be with you. I just can't release any of this stuff. I have too much to lose. I have too much to lose. I have too much to lose. I can't get out, the starling said. Right? I can't, I can't release this situation. And some of them, this is a mother, this is a karmic partner, whatever. Um, but notice here, we've got the king of pentacles in the upright and sitting there clinging, clinging, clinging to his coin. And then the, the distorted feminine or the, the distorted karmic energy, whatever you want to call this in reverse, also clinging, clinging, clinging to the coin, right? He's like, no, I, it's like, I can't, I can't remove myself from this situation, right? And come towards you, but I want to. Like you, it's like he's literally telling feminine here, this is you, feminine. Like I, 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 I love you. I know I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. But I can't leave my situation. And hey, there you go. Six, the actual six of pentacles in reverse. Masculine doesn't want this cycle again. He doesn't want to do this anymore. He doesn't want to do this again. Okay? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't want to lose feminine. He does feel like he's losing feminine. Well, masculine? Masculine? Masculine. Maybe, um, you know, maybe you should deal with your stuff. Okay? All right. Um, 
Yeah, I'm asking very much in his species right now. Mm -hmm. And he, it's like he, he, he's throat chakra. Just, he can't, it's like he can't speak what he wants to speak. If he feels like nothing he says is going to change the outcome. And, and masculine, I hate to tell you this, but yes. Mm -hmm. Feminine needs to do what's right for her. And right now, having you drain her all the time is, is not going to help you. It's definitely not going to help feminine. Okay? So... Just let it go, masculine. Same same advice I gave feminine. Let it go. Let her go. Let her do what she needs to do. You deal with your stuff. If you don't want to be in a harmful situation, if you don't want to be in a toxic situation, leave. And for some of them, this has to do with a job. This has to do with a job. Okay? But it could be a partner. I don't Whatever. It could be a family. All right? But either way, if you don't want to be in that situation, you change it. You bringing your toxicity around feminine makes her not want to be around you. Okay? So, uh, I love that this is the first card. Messages from masculine to feminine. I need your help right now. Uh-huh. My world is upside down. Why, well, yes. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. I thought it was happy. Then you showed up. I know who you are. Yes, of course you do. But what have you done? What have you done for her lately? I'm obsessed with you. The silence sucks. So again, some of them not speaking or can't speak. I'm hearing you in my head. Some of them is 5D communication. Oh my gosh. And I will be back. So that's interesting. All right. Oh, I'm sure you will, masculine. I'm sure you will. All right, so uh, advice to masculine from source. Masculine, you need to be in your receiving energy right now, okay, and receive. Believe it or not, this is a wake-up call for you. Masculine, receive it. Embrace it. Move forward, okay? Purge what you need to purge. I mean, you are, believe it or not, you are being guided towards your next steps right now and what you need to do to complete this part of your journey, okay? For you, this is the catalyst, and it's interesting how the masculine, usually as the runner, became the, the chaser this time, you know? Masculine, you also need to learn to trust yourself that the situation that you're in is not a good one and you need to make some changes, okay? Um, otherwise, you're just going to stay stuck um, in the chaos <laughs> drama or whatever it is that's going on around you but but just take this hint masculine take this hint feminine didn't do this to hurt you feminine did this for her own reasons but if you look at the bigger picture it is helping you okay and once everything is aligned you know if you if you want your feminine as much as you think you do okay Bring yourself into alignment. Work on self. Learn to love yourself. Love yourself enough to say no. Okay? Be in your receiving energy. And what you're, what you're calling in is what you will, will come in. Okay? That's the law of attraction. All right? Okay. So connecting energies. Let's see here. Temptation. So obviously at the beginning of the... Uh, reading we did pick up on a lot of sexual energy going in coming in as well and um i do feel 5d communication happening right now in the connection absolutely masculine just does not want to let feminine go right now oh how the tables are turned masculine does not want to let feminine go right now whoa okay um yeah so even, even feminines, you know, again, kind of feeling a little bit sad, feeling kind of like she did something wrong, but she knows that it's all for her healing. And, and that's what's happening right now is healing. Healing the connection, healing the, the, the masculine and the feminine, bringing them together back into alignment. But also some of you, this, this is literally healing whatever situation you're into, okay? Um, yeah, some of you, it's healing the self-sabotage aspect that you've had. 
over and over and over again. Feminine, it's by, you know, releasing the masculine. Masculine, it's by having to let go of the feminine for a little while and deal with your own stuff. Okay? Um, and this, this of course, is indicative as well. We have the pleasure card come in in the open uh, overall energies. So, I mean, it's that creative energy. And I do feel that this is literally the spark to, to kind of move forward in your particular mission, whatever that might be. Especially for feminine, I feel a lot of feminine stepping into mission right now. Um, for masculine, I think it's really about creative solutions. Okay. Um, releasing the 3D idea that masculine is so much in the 3D that that's the only way he can think. Think outside the box a little bit, masculine. Look at the bigger picture for a second, okay? Um, yeah, Ace of Swords. I mean... Truth, truth prevails. Truth, pre truth prevails in these situations and in the, these connections. Okay, truth only truth, nothing but the truth, um, and we need to accept those endings. So yeah, um, major cycles ending right now. I really feel a lot of ma uh, feminines have released the obsession cycle. If you're still stuck in obsession. See me. I'll help. Okay. Um, yeah, realizing we can't rebuild this 3D foundation because it has no integrity. It has no integrity. It's all illusion. It's all illusion, right? And this is this is kind of bringing some instability within the connection, right? And it, it's it's interesting how we mirror. Okay, so let's talk about the the karmic situations and the connections for a second and how they mirror. Okay, so if you're in, let's say you're in a karmic let's just say a karmic partnership, okay, with someone, and the 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 re, the repellent energy that kind of comes in in those connections the toxic energy knowing that you you don't want to be in that particular situation anymore but it's like you feel like you can't get out of it okay and then your partner might be in a different situation but the energy is the same let's say it's a job okay but the energy is the same the repellent nature not wanting to be in that situation because we're both in situations that we know are not good for us but we stay because we feel like we have to because of some like belief system that has been instilled in us that we have to stay where we're not happy because we need money or we need this that and the other thing that we have to sacrifice ourselves and that's just not true okay so this is what's coming up this is this is what the connections show us like so if you know, let's talk to feminine for a second. If you know your masculine is in an unhappy marriage, let's just say that, okay? But you're in a job that you're unhappy in and you refuse to leave. Hello? That's, there should be an epiphany going off in your brain right now, okay? So, so what this is designed to do is to show you your distortion, show you your situation you need to get out of. And for some feminines, this had to do with releasing your connection. This was this was like the karmic situation for you. Or it was all rolled into that one thing. And once you release that, you realize how easy it is to release everything else. Right? It's the one step that leads to, to everything else. Okay? Um, and, and leading ultimately, obviously, to self-fulfillment. To your heart's desire. To, to that balance, that unity, that, that, that calling you're calling okay and you're being led to it yeah so you know release the anxiety guys release the anxiety everything's going to be fine it's going to be fine promise 100 percent. you don't have to be stuck there if you don't want to be right um you don't have to deal with anybody else's crap Deal with yours. Don't let somebody else hold you back. Don't let somebody else tell you you don't deserve what you want. You don't deserve happiness. Who told you that? Okay. So yeah, move forward. And you know, I like this. It's like you're literally presenting an offer to yourself. Like, and that's the offer is of a clean slate. A new beginning. Think about it that way. Yeah, walking away. From a toxic situation. Because the um, let's be honest, the illusion's been blown wide open. Right? So so that you can, you know, move forward. And you, 
the wheel will start turning again. Because some of you have been feeling like you're spinning your wheel. Literally just round and round and round and round and round and round. And round. Doesn't matter how much you rev the engine, you can't move forwards because you're stuck in the mud. Right? Because you're stuck here. Some of you, you're still mourning a third party situation. Not the loss of one, but the, whether it's masculine and feminine, it doesn't matter. Some of you are still mourning your, your person's third party situation. Um, yeah. Which is kind of making you not feel very good about yourself. And for the longest time, it's like feminine. It's, you know, you're supposed to lead and, and it's like you were just still waiting for masculine to lead, right? And so we're just like collectively kind of going through a major tower right now. And that's okay. But like I said, once you strip all of that away, and I feel like feminine is a lot more grateful for the tower than masculine is right now. But feminine is just kind of like, thank you, source, for clearing away the clutter. Like now I can actually see, right? I can actually see what I'm supposed to be doing next. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for showing me... Um that I have the strength that I need to move forward in the 3D as well. And the, this, of course, you the higher fen usually represents the divine masculine, but it also represents your inner masculine as well. So the awakening of the inner masculine, realizing that you can move forward. Um, yeah, you can conquer. You will have victory. Everything's going to be fine. And, and some of you, yes, there is going to be conflict. There is going to be um, drama coming at you. You are going to have to deal with persecution for the things that you believe and the things that you do. But don't let that stop you, okay? It's all a test. All right, so um, messages from source, so retreat. Yeah, like I said, some of you, you, you've broken off this connection. You've released the obsession, and now it's like the obsession is on masculine side here, right? Um, some of you just need to make the decision to move forward. Some of you are waiting for... It's like you're waiting for confirmation that the opportunity, whatever it is that's presented itself to you, is 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 a you, you got to go for it. That that's that's what my message is for you today. You got to go for it. That's your confirmation right there. Okay, but yeah, you and your your counterpart right now, they're you're just on different pages of your journey right now, and that's okay. That's okay, you know. And whoever's coming in now, some of you, again, this is a person that's coming in. It is a past life thing. It is a past life connection. And for some of you, it's your true counterpart. Okay. Woohoo. All right. So let's get some advice here. Ah. Yep. New romantic cycle begins, whether with a person, your actual counterpart, or with yourself. Some of you are starting a new romantic cycle. Win-win uh, outcome is forecast here. So just go for it. Again, that's my message for you. That is my message for you today. Whatever it is that's happening here, it's it, go. Just go for it, okay? Whatever you're doing, whatever you're moving forward in, it's going to help you heal. There's something to this, guys. Okay? Where you're at right now, nothing will come of it. So move forward. Move forward. Okay? Bring love into the situation and release the fear. Okay? Fear is the opposite of love. Okay? So release the negativity. Release the fear. Everything's going to be fine. Just trust. Just trust. Just trust yourself. Trust source. And um, at the end of all things, guys... If you can look at yourself in the mirror and know for a fact that you did the best you could and that is the truth, it's a good day. Okay? All right, guys. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.